And my game crashed again. The exciting thing you missed was Morgan gave me plus 20 approval points and I think she got like a magic boost because she's just so much my buddy now. We are buddy-tastic. Let's see, what is she at? Oh my gosh, she's at warm, 56. Considering we started at like 5, it's been a good, you know, day of just bonding with the girls. So I gave her the mirror, and now let's give her her mother's grimoire. Oh wait, I have her back in her robes. There we go. <gasps> mother's real grimoire, is it? Yep. I am glad you were able to find it after all. My thanks for retrieving it. I shall begin studying it immediately and unlock the power that it holds. Plus 13? Awesome! I await your command. I'd like to ask you something. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Delightful. Uh, so Flemeth is dead. What now? Now I have enough time to study Mother's Grimoire to find a way to prevent her from stealing my body in the future. For she will be back. One day, I have no doubt of that. And if I cannot protect myself, one day I will track her down again in whatever body she inhabits, and she will die again and again if need be. But there is no need to think of such things now. I have you to thank for saving me, so let us return to the task of dealing with the Darkspawn, no? Uh, I could say she can always rely on me. Make her think of a way to thank me. Hope she say that. Good, I'm glad you're safe. Uh, you know you can always rely on me, right? You... Too much could happen in days to come to make such promises. Yet, I am grateful. <laughs> Let us go. There is much to be done before... There is still much to be done. Please don't betray me. I don't like it. It is a curious thing. I do not know how else to describe it. What? What's wrong? No, nothing is wrong. It is a little embarrassing to admit, in fact. Yes. I am reminded of our first meeting in the wilds. I had been in animal form for some time watching your progress. Please don't be in love with me. I was intrigued to see such a formidable woman, obviously more potent than the men <laughs> travel with. Please don't be in love Yet with me. I resented it when Flemeth assigned me to travel with you. I assumed that at best you would drive me from your company as soon as we left the wilds. Uh, tempting. <laughs> Believe me, I was tempted. Uh, why would I do that? I am aware that I have little talent for forming friendships. Kind of a bitch. To put it lightly. Kind of a bitch. It is something I know nothing of, nor ever thought I needed. Kind of a bitch. But when I discovered Flemeth's plans, you did not abandon me. Whatever your reasons, you fought what must have been a terrible battle without hope of real reward. No, I got... No, I didn't get anything. You got a fucking grimoire and you got your same clothes back. Yeah, I got kind of hosed. Uh, da da da. That's a terrible battle. I need you. I do need you. Don't get gushy. I'll just. I did it because I'm your friend. And that is what I do not understand. What? Of all the things I could have imagined would have resulted when Flemeth told me to go with you, the very last would have been that I would find in you a friend. Perhaps even a sister. <laughs> I want you to know that while I may not always prove worthy of your friendship. I will always value it. Aww. But enough of such idle talk. There are more useful things to be done, surely. Holy fucking shit, we just had a moment. Like a beautiful moment. And I look forward to ruining it by making decisions that she hates. What comes, my friend? Oh my gosh, how nice. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> Can you teach others to be shape changers? Possibly, if I had the desire to. Okay. Uh, let's comes, see. Discuss something we personal. Can, so tis as good a time as any. No, we suck. Well, okay. 
Minus that little hiccup, which I would have been happy to finish on another stupid video. Um, we can go to Redcliffe. So, I guess we'll head out. Which is actually not that far away. Da -da. Yes. Yes. I like having Lynn along. Or maybe... Yeah, we'll stick with Wynn. Yes. Redcliffe. Here we go. Oh, fuck. What is this? Yeah. <gasps> it's an emissary! Die. Oh fuck! Leave her alone! She's old! And like dead! And you cooked Alistair! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Don't you touch my human boyfriend! <laughs> oh sweet! Vessel of the Spirit. What is that? What is it? Who are you? Cleansing aura. Da, da, da. Oh, here we go. Plot! Vessel of the Spirit. Wind distorients nearby enemies. Restoring health and mana. Da, 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 da. Oh, cool. So she's gonna be a nice little booster. Quit it! I am going to kill you! You come here, you chicken shit. Herlock Omega. Oh, I wanted to kill him. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know I could either. <laughs> I called forth the spirit that sustains me so that it could lend us aid. I did not realize it would take this much out of me. Oh, great, I'm killing her. It seemed a good idea at the time, if a little rash. I think it may have weakened the spirit a little. So you can kill yourself doing this? Well, um, that's certainly conceivable. Mm. I suppose I shouldn't be using that particular trick to entertain children at parties. Mm. Uh, I don't want you exerting yourself. You're old! I promise I'll be careful. And thank you. Your concern is touching. I know. And Alistair leveled up. There's more. Huh. Huh. Oh man, I just kicked the shit out of that. What's on your mind? What? I don't mean to talk to you, but uh, is there something we can do to cure you? Cure me? What? Am I sick now? Well, you're a little dead. Even you know that you cannot cure the dead. 
And I'm not the only one dying. You are too. <laughs> I'm just more efficient about it. That is fair. Child, your concern is heartwarming. But death comes to everyone, and it is not something to fear. I don't like dying. I'd rather be alive. People fear not death, but having life taken from them. That's what death is! The life given to them, occupying themselves with things that do not matter. When the end comes, they say they did not have time enough to spend with loved ones, to fulfill dreams, to go on adventures they only talked about. But why should you fear death if you are happy with the life you have led? If you can look back on everything and say, yes, I am content, it is enough. Are you content? I think I've led a good life, a full life, and I, for one, am not afraid of death, whatever it may bring. They say that when you die, your spirit travels through the fade and returns to the Maker. And after that, we'll see, won't we? Mm. Oh, great. What's on your mind? Do you have any regrets? I try not to dwell too much on the mistakes of my past. Of which there are many. I would go quite mad if I did that. But I do have one regret. The greatest misstep of my life. Made even more grave because it had dire consequences for someone else. What happened? What did you do? Years ago, I was assigned as mentor to a lad, Anaren. He was my first apprentice. Anaren was an elf, raised in one of the elven alienages. And he was very mistrustful of humans, especially humans in authority. Mm. Yeah, I could see that would have would suck. What Anaren needed was time. Time to get used to his new home. Time to emerge from his shell so we could build a rapport. I gave him no such time. I was young and arrogant. He is a mage, I thought. He needs to grow up and act like one. I expected too much from him, too quickly. I gave no consideration to his origin or his feelings, and he retreated further from me. All I could think of was how stubborn he was, how he was throwing away all his talent and his potential just to be difficult. Hmm. Well, that doesn't seem like you. Oh, age and wisdom have mellowed me. And marijuana. I was quite different back then. Much more unforgiving. Then I started you smoking lyrium. crops in the cold, wintry ground. You cannot teach a student who is closed off and unresponsive. Patience is what is needed. And I learned that too late to help him. So, what happened? An Aaron ran away from the circle one night. I had berated him over some trivial, ridiculous matter that I no longer remember. I drove him away because of something utterly unimportant. He was a child, 14 at the time of his leaving. They had his phylactery, and they hunted him down. What, what the hell's a phylactery? The phylactery is a vial of blood taken from a mage. But blood is connected to life, and your blood can be used to track you down. They called him Maleficar, a mage who practices forbidden magic, deserving of death. He was a child, misunderstood and lost. I begged the Templars to tell me if he suffered, if they gave him a quick death. I got no answers from them. I was his mentor, and they wouldn't even tell me what became of him. That's not your fault. I should have known better. I had the best mentors. They were kind, compassionate. Why didn't I learn from them? I failed an errand. All I had to do was listen to him. He would try to talk to me, and I would tell him to concentrate on his spells. He talked about the alienage sometime, and the Dalish. He always talked about looking for the Dalish elves. Hmm. Maybe he did. The Templars are well trained and thorough. That he still lives, it would be a vain hope. The apprentices that came after Anaren benefited greatly from the lessons I learned from him. In a sense, he was my teacher, and I his student. That is beautiful. 
<laughs> this is getting maudlin. Oh, there's the bright side, right? And there it is. My story. My one greatest regret. Oh, that's a quest. For some reason. Da, da, da. Companions. Wins regret. He spoke of the Dalish. Hmm. Maybe he's in the forest. Yes. You called. Uh, blah, blah, blah. As you wish. Oh, puppy. See anything interesting? Loser. All right. So Wynn has a actually fairly sucky superpower. And really the only thing it does good is that it stuns people if they're around me. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. What's up? I told you before how Al Eamon raised me, right? That my mother was a serving girl at the castle and he took me in? Probably. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marek. What? Which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. Holy shit. Doesn't that make you heir to the throne? Make his breath, I hope not. I don't think so. You don't think so, do you? I'm a bastard. And, and nobody even knows about me. I, I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaylin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. My human boyfriend lied to me. Does Logan know? Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. At any rate, that's it. That's what I had to tell you. I thought you should know about it. Hmm. Are you sure? Are you hiding anything else? Besides my unholy love of fine cheeses and a minor obsession with my hair, <laughs> no, that's it. Just the prince thing. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Can you use our advantage? Why tell me now? You're the heir. You're a prince. Somehow I find that thrilling. Oh, did I just find the one damn decent thing about my birthright? I think I did. <laughs> I had no illusions about my status, however. It's always been made very clear that I'm a commoner. And now a grey warden, and in no way in line for the throne. Boo. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard... No, I, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. You're not a nobody. <laughs> Aren't you? Or you command my prince? So what does that make me? The reason I think we have a chance of setting things right. Good answer. So we learn things. So, Prince Alistair. Who wants to be a princess? It's every girl's dream, especially Dela Show. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Yo. Have you come to help us? What? Probably. What do you mean? Is there a problem? So you... you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? P 
Probably not. Um, I heard our only man is sick. He could be dead for all we know. Oh. Nobody's heard from the castle in days. Oh Jesus. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Oh. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I I I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. Sure. I'd love more crises. Especially when they just come to me. I don't even have to go looking. The convenience is what I'm a fan of. <laughs> what the hell is this? It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Go back to the mud Still thing. Still alive, yes. Though not for long, if Tern Loghain has anything to say about it. Mm. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. <clears throat> you don't believe Loghain's lies? What, that he pulled his men in order to save them? That Caelan risked everything in the name of glory? <laughs> Hardly. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the king. I don't believe it. It's an act of a desperate man. Yes. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. I wish You're a lot of things. Brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. Mm. Great. Uh, what are you talking about? What sort of evil? Some call them the walking dead. Decomposing corpses, returning to life with a hunger for human flesh. They hit again the next night. Each night they come, with greater numbers. With Caelan dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friend. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without Arl Eamon. Of course we'll help. There are no darkspawn here and nothing to gain. It is a fool's errand. Uh, da -da. I'll use my Persuade. If there's a chance to risk the Arl, we have to try, Sten. Perhaps. Shut up. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Uh, can I discuss the situation with you? Of course. Isn't the timing of this kind of convenient? Are you suggesting what's happened here is related to Kalen's death and the Civil War, even Eamon's illness? Yes. Do you know why he's ill? No, I do not. I arrived recently myself, having heard the news. I know as much as you do now. God damn it! Uh, isn't he the heir to the throne? Our sister was Kalen's mother. I suppose we've royal blood, but it's a shaky claim to the throne, though still better than Logan. And it does mean Eamon could intervene in Loghain's bid for the throne, but let's not leap to conclusions. I would not like to think that anyone would wish this on my brother. He is a good man and much loved by the people of Redcliffe. 
Oh, good. I can't imagine how terrible it must be for our lesser Isolde, and especially Connor. I would not want him to lose his father at such a young age. Do you have some knights here or anything good? I have those few who returned from their quest. You know of this, yes? Yeah, the Sacred Ashes business. <clears throat> yes, I question Isolde's decision to send so many knights in search of this relic. But I am a practical man, whereas she is a woman of great faith. Sir Perth was one of the knights sent on this quest. Perhaps you should speak to him if you wish to learn more. Oh, okay. Why are you in the Chantry? Sir Perth insists. He wants me to be with the villagers, so everyone he needs to protect is in one place. I don't mind, to be honest. The point of all this is to protect the villagers, and I can do that best here. This is the last line of defense, should things go amiss. Oh, <coughs> he has cool armor. Look at this. Shoulder action. Do you need more men in here with you? We could bring some men in to stand beside me, but I'd rather keep the monsters away from the villagers if possible. Mm. So what are the things that the things and the things? I do not know. They seem to be walking corpses, men with rotting flesh that continue to attack even with the gravest injuries. Undead, perhaps. Spirits possessing the bodies of the dead. We could be dealing with a mage, but who would do such a thing? Hmm. So what happens after the battle's over? Hopefully we can find the source and stop it before it causes any more damage. With luck, we'll also find Eamon and be able to help him. <laughs> There'd better be a reward after all Eamon this. Eamon would be in a better position to reward you, to be honest. Fine, I'll get to work. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Alright. Alistair and Win approve, and Sten doesn't really give a fuck. Let us pray. Blessed art thou who exists to make us sight. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. I am not reading that. Blessed art thou who seeks his return. Blessed is the blah, blah, blah. blessed daughter sacrificed for me. Bookshelf, even better. When are the bad men coming? Demonic possession. Oh, a quest. Oh wait, 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 wait! It's Jetta! It's like the first stupid side quest I ever got in this game. I dug up a uh, a chest in the woods or in the Krakari Wilds. You're a Grey Warden, right? Were you in Ostagar? In the Krakari Wilds? My husband and son went there to bring the chant of light to the chastened. But I haven't heard from them since. Yeah, are you Jetta? I am. You've heard of me? I have something for from your husband. Oh? Oh, his lockbox. If you're bringing me this. Oh no. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for bringing this to me. It means a lot to make his blessings upon you. Ugh. I hate to kick her when she's down, considering, uh, you know. She's in a little hell area, but whatevs. Let's pick up this quest and then I'll start up later. Sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll I'll try to be more quiet. Calm down. Why are you crying? Those those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time. Everywhere. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Oh. Well, do you know why he'd run off? He said something about saving mother. He's just a little boy. He doesn't understand she's gone. Grief can make us do many things that don't make any sense, I'm afraid. I hope he didn't try to go to the castle. Oh, that would be awful. Hmm. Oh, okay. I'll look for him. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. Sticking together is what good waffles do. All right, so Did this is smell. fish hmm? and something else. Oh, more fish. These people don't deserve what has happened to them. We must get to the bottom of this. Is this where humans keep all their wisdom? Your behavior makes much more sense to me now. I don't understand what you're saying. Onward.